Hello, Americans all over the world. Nats, grabe ba talaga ang dating natin ngayon? All over the world ang ating labanan. But before we start, I would like to say good evening and welcome to another fun and awesome night dito sa ating IRAC celebration. Na meron tayong team for this fun hashtag, what's on your mind? By the way, my name is Kuya Jonathan and we welcome you here as what I have said earlier. And you can all me Kuya Jonathan. Kuya Atan. Hi guys, my name is Lisa and I am so excited sa gabing ito kasi marami tayong matututunan. At alam kong excited na rin kayo. At kung excited na kayo, just comment down below na excited na ako. Yes, Risa. Ako oh, din. I'm so excited for tonight's IRAC. And I believe na excited na rin ang mga radicals natin dyan sa comment section. Kaya naman, i-shoutout natin sila. Ayan. Magbabasa tayo ng mga shout-out. Shout-out. Yan. Sige, yan, basahin yan. yan. Go, Renz. Excited na ako. Sabi naman ni... Sabi naman ni... Ni Pastorita Isa, excited na rin ako. Tapos sabi naman ni Enrico Gabriel Santos, excited na ako. And sabi din naman ni Sharina Pindao, excited na rin daw siya. And si... Ate Angelo May Marson, excited na rin ako. Yan, alam kong maraming excited sa inyong mga radicals sa comment section. Pero hindi namin kayo kayang isa-isahin. By the way, I'm Renz. Sabi lang, pare-pareha sila excited. Kasi nga, sabi ni Lisa, isabihin doon, excited. So, alam tayo naman that you're all excited. I am Kuya RJ. And yes. again tonight, we welcome you sa ating IRAC. We are really happy. We are really... Glad that you are here with us. And since the pinag-uusapan natin this month is all about yung mga bagay na nasa isipan natin, we just would like to hear some of these things na inyong iniisip. If you may, or if you want to, please comment down below ano yung mga bagay na iniisip ko ngayon. There could be many things that you are thinking right now. And yeah, I uh, share it to us. Kaya saan, ikaw ba? Ano bang iniisip mo ngayon? Ah... Uh... Wala. <laughs> Actually, wala kami, <laughs> syempre. Lalo na sa situation pero na kayo. Isipin natin na, of course, about family, lalo na ako, hindi ko kasama ngayon yung parents ko dahil sa probinsya sila. So, that is one of the major things na talagang iisip ko kung kamusta sila doon palagi, kung meron ba sila doon um, protection from this um, pandemic dahil nga nasa probinsya sila. And, isa yun sa mga nagiging... Um, Lagi din naman ako ina-assure ni Lord doon na okay sila. So, kung ano man yung mga iniisip ko sa nila tinawagan, to be sure na okay sila. Ikaw kay RJ, ano yung mga usual things na lagi mo iniisip ngayon? Alam ako ngayon, since si Kuya RJ ay isang teacher, ang iniisip ko talaga, how will I be an effective teacher? Kasi nga, di ba, nasa new normal na tayo. And paano yung mga gagawin since magiging new normal na okay. or mga bago na yung dapat gawin? Ayun, yun yung mga bagay na ini- Ang hirap sa mga ngayon, paano, paano na yung sa mga schools ngayon pala ko? Sa so, mga update schools? Ngayon, kayo sa school nyo, anong update? Grabe, marami kasing ano eh, maraming dapat isipin. Pero ngayon, ang isang ginagawa namin, eh, yung sa mga modules and of course, sa mga activities for the, for the students or yung pupils. And ayun, siyempre, kailangan mo rin isipin paano ba sila matututo kahit na Online, online yung ginagawa natin, hindi na face-to-face yung pagtuturo. Alam mo, yan yung isip na nga kung paano sila, ma- paano sila matututo. Pero ta- pero kung talaga mga sudyante ang nasa isip nila, meron kaya silang baon nga yung online class. Hmm. Naging tanong nyo din ba yan hmm. sa sarili nyo? Meron kayo mga pwedeng ibaon? Pwede kayo mga hingi ng baon sa mga magulang nyo during online class? Comment down below kung naisip nyo yan, pumasok kayo sa isip nyo. And... So na, hindi ako hayaan na wala ng icebreaker. So, again, ang ating icebreaker is a great review icebreaker para sa ating lahat last week about Pastor Rita's um, message. Para, um, nandinili- message na deliver sa atin ni Pastor Rita last week. For, um, for tonight's icebreaker, kailangan lang namin ulit ng limang mabibilis na tao na mag-comment dyan sa baba ng three major points si Pastorita last week. Wow, grabe. 
At kung sino ang unang tatlong makakapag-comment dyan, on my go signal, ha? on go signal, kung sino yung unang mag- ay, limang taong ma- unang mag-comment dyan ng tama, sa isang comment lang dapat, kasama na yung tatlong, um, tatlong puntos si Pastorina dyan, sila ay magkakamit na 100 pesos worth of load. Wow, grabe. So, kailan natin kung sino yung um, limang taong na magwawaki sa gabing ito. Come on, kailan na di ko, so we're waiting for Let's go! Tingnan natin kung sino-sino mga mananali dyan sa comment section natin. Five first people na makakapag-comment ng tama. Tingnan natin, intayin natin sila. Shoutout sa inyo. Shoutout, shoutout sa lahat ng mga radicals na nanonood sa atin. And currently, wala pa akong nakikita. na nagko-comment. Kuya RJ, may nakikita ka na ba na nagko-comment sa side mo? Para na, may nauna na. Sabihin ko na ba? Sige, go, Kuis. First to comment, the three points of Pastorita last week I see Francine Adarin. Good job! Adarin, sorry. Francine Adarin, good job, Francine. Wow, grabe. Siguro naramdaman niya na, ay, baka ganito yung icebreaker natin ulit. So, naramdaman niya, kaya nag-comment na agad siya. Nanalo din to last week, eh. Good job. Good job. Good job, Francine. Sino pa dyan, Kuis? Dalawang beses nag, ano, dalawang beses nag-shoot si Francine. Di ba, hindi naman yun sige isang daan, no? Isang beses last week. Oh, man. So, I'll check it. Di valid yun. Oh, man. Yung mga yes, points yun, last yun, week. May nakita na rin akong una, pangalawang nag, nag-comment, si Kuya Janus Musni. Nanalo ka ng 100 pesos load. Wow! Yeah. Good job! Good job, Janus! Ayan, meron din ako nakita. Dito sa akin, sa side ko, nauna, si, nauna siya bago kay Janus. Shout out sa'yo, Kuis! Lucky Carl Aaron Melo. Wow, pangalawang best din niya nanalo. Last week, nanalo din to. So good job Kuya um Kuya Lucky. Good job, good job po. Sayo. Next. Kuya RJ, sino na nakita mo diyan, Kuya? Sa feeling ko kailangan so, talaga ng load every week. Kaya na una sa kalagi. Ah, sino yan? So si Ate <laughs> na hang nakakuha ng ng 100 pesos load ay si Jelly. Lagi na si Jelly. Good job Jelly. Huh? So, meron tayong winner sa atin so far. I see Francine, si Janus, si Kuya Aaron, at si Jelly. Okay, and for our last winner. Last winner natin. Ito, nakita ko. Siya din yung una. Hindi ko alam kung nakita ko siya kung um, una din siya sa inyo. Pero siya yung una sa listahan ko. Shout out sa iyo, Zarina Sasapindao. Wow, good job sa inyong lahat. Shout out sa inyo dyan sa ating po. mga nanalo. Good job kayo guys. Good job. Palakpakan naman natin sila lahat. Palakpakan natin sila. Good job sa inyo and congratulations. And for tonight's winner, um, we will just contact you. Bubo tayo ng group chat and hihingi namin yung mga personal numbers nyo or Gcash um, numbers para sa gabing ito. So once again, congratulations and good job. And tonight, alam ko na sobrang excited nating lahat. Sobra. At kung ano-ano nga talaga naman ang laman ng isipan natin. Tama ba? Yeah. Tama ba yun? Pero last Thursday, ano-ano nga ba yung mga puntos ni Pastorita para sa atin? So, maganda yung mga reminders si Pastorita sa atin for last week's um, IRAP. Grabe. Sobrang powerful nun. Kaya na lang ito, ang first point is set your minds on things above and not on things on the, and not on earthly things. Wow, grabe. Sobrang powerful nun. Lalo na ngayon kay RJ, no? Na um, karamihan ng mga tao na kapag ito ang iniisip kung ano yung mga bagay sabihin ng mga tao instead of kung ano yung tingin sa kanila ni Lord, ni Jesus Christ. And Pastor Rita, during this point, um, also remind us kung um, doon sa kung gano'ng powerful yung sacrifice ni Jesus Christ ng buhay niya para sa atin. Kayo guys, ano ba yung mga highlight ng ano yun? Um, highlight ng IROC ni last week. Riza, ikaw. Yung nag-remind po sa akin is yung third point ni Pastorita, yung let Christ rule our mm. hearts. Um, nang, 
nag-remind po sa akin dito na huwag tayong matakot. Let let peace of okay. God be be rule in our hearts para po um, hindi na tayo matakot sa mga paparating na problema sa atin. Good job. Uh, good job. Ikaw, ikaw rin. Ano yung, ano, ikaw, ano yung ma- naging highlight mo, specific highlight ng message ni Pastor Rita para sa'yo? Para sa akin, ano eh, lahat. Kasi, for me, yung tatlong oh. point ni hmm. Pastor Rita na when we set our minds on the things above and not on the earthly things and we clothe ourselves with godliness and let His peace rule in our life, our mind, our mind will will align to the path on what God wants as for us po. Ayun po. Wow. Sabi naman yun. Alam mo kasi yung mga points si Pastor Rita last week, they are all connected with each other. So hindi pwede na yung first lang na meron ka, tapos yung second and third. They are all connected with each other. And, alam nyo ba, since these things are the things we have learned last week, and marami tayong natutunan. Tonight, we must have an expectant heart kasi for sure, tonight will also be a, a time for learning. Marami rin tayong matututunan. And before we worship guys tonight, a uh, celebration or yung uh, ating Iraq, we will just read a verse of the Bible found in Romans 8 verses 31 to 39. Radix says, as we read it, let this be our verse for tonight na maging magmarka talaga sa atin. Let us start. Romans 8 verse 31 to 39. What shall we say about such wonderful things as these? If God is for us, who can ever be against us? Since he did not spare even his own son, but gave him up for us all, won't he also give us everything else? Who dares assist us whom God has spoken for his own? No one. For God himself has given us right standing with himself. Verse 34. Who when will condemn us? No one. For Christ Jesus died for us and was raised to life for us. And he is sitting in the place of honor at God's right hand, leading for us. Can anything ever separate us from Christ's love? Does it mean He no longer loves us if we have trouble or calamity, or are persecuted, or hungry, or destitute, or in danger, or threatened with death? As the scripture says, for your sake, we are killed every day. We are being slaughtered like sheep. Verse 37, No, despite, despite all these things, overwhelming victory is ours through Christ who loved us. And I am convinced that nothing can ever separate us from God's love. Neither death wow. nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither fears for today nor our worries about tomorrow. Not even the powers of hell can separate us from God's love. Wow, verse 39. No power in the sky above or the earth below. Indeed, nothing in all creation will ever be able to separate us from the love of God that is revealed in Christ Jesus, our Lord. Rabbi, our word the Lord is really powerful. Now, radicals, join me in prayer. Lord, maraming salamat po for tonight that you have gathered us together, even if this is only online. Lord, we are really expectant tonight that you will teach us many things na kailangan namin pong matutunan. Continue to reveal yourself to us and as we sing for you tonight, may we enjoy this time and may you be pleased with our worship. Lord, you deserve all of the glory and all of the honor. This we ask. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Tadi mo pala pa kayo natin si Lord? Yeah! Let's go! Who says it's good to praise the Lord and make music to His name the most high? To proclaim His love in the morning and His faithfulness at night. Lord, we praise you, Jesus. It is good, it is good to praise you. Every breath. 
our faithfulness, but it is good to praise you. Make music to your name. Almost time. Praise you. To you all the glory and the praises. In Jesus' name, amen. Good evening sa lahat ng mga radicals and good evening po sa lahat ng mga nakikinig sa kanilang mga tahanan. We welcome all our VIPs for tonight. Thank you so much for joining us sa aming live streaming. I hope po mas marami pang celebration namin via live streaming ang makasama po namin kayo. By the way, I am Pastora Vivian Kasaklang and I am one of the pastor of All for Christ Church in Tagate. And ngayong gabi po, we are still on our series, What's on Your Mind? Ayun, ano nga bang laman ang isipan mo? Ano ang tumatakbo sa isipan mo ngayong gabi? Ano ba ang pumupuno ng isip mo? Ano nga ba yung gumugulo sa isipan mo na hindi ka pinapatulog at hindi rin nagiging maganda para sa'yo? Pwedeng marami tayong iniisip ngayong gabi. Iniisip mo yung kondisyon ng buong pamilya mo, kung hanggang kailan ba tong pandemic, Ang tagal-tagal na nating naka-lockdown and we are not living the normal kind of life na talagang meron tayo before. Maaring iniisip mo yung trabaho ng magulang mo kung hanggang kailan sila masusustain ng work. Or iniisip mo rin siguro yung pagbabalik mo sa school ngayong August. Paano mo gagawin yung digital learning? How can you cope up and how can you adapt with this kind of new normal sa pag-aaral? Pwedeng meron ka rin iniisip na tao. May taong hindi nagpapatulog sa'yo. Pwedeng nag-iisip ka ngayon ng pagkain. Or pwedeng iniisip mo ngayon yung maraming bagay. But tonight, as we go on this topic, as we go on this series, ang prayer ko lang is God will give us a peace of mind. Na talagang yung isipan natin magiging healthy and in good condition. Before we before we go on with our message, I want you to join me in a short prayer. I want you to bow down your heads and close your eyes as we commit to Jesus itong ating pag-aaral. Come on, let's pray. Hallelujah. Lord, salamat po sa gabing ito because we can always count on you, Lord. And you know, God, what's on our mind tonight. Alam niyo po, Panginoon, ang laman ng aming mga isipan. Father, we fully surrender to you, Lord God, all the content, Lord, ng aming mga iniisip, Panginoon. And we just declare, God, that you will take captive every kind of thought tonight to make it obedient to Jesus. And we declare, Lord, na magiging malinaw po ang aming pag-iisip. We may understand your will, Lord. May intindihan po namin ang inyong salita. Samahan niyo po kami sa gabing, gabing ito. We invite the Holy Spirit to come us and to fill us right now. We ask all this things in the powerful name of Jesus and everyone will say with me Amen and Amen. Pwede ba natin palakpakan si Lord? Come on! Okay. Sabi nila no sa Google, ang human mind daw, merong 100 billion neurons. Same number ng stars sa galaxy. The neuron are specialized cell transmitting nerve impulses a nerve cell. That's why minsan kapag napaso ka, no, ang tendency nung, ang tendency, ang reaction mo kagad ay parang alisin yung kamay mo dun sa pagkakapaso. Kasi nga, yun yung mga neuron. Nagtatransmit sila ng mga nerve impulses. And do you know that the energy used by the brain is enough to light a 25-watt bulb? Kaya niyang pailawin yung isang 25-watt bulb. Ganun katindi yung energy ng isip natin. And the average number of thoughts that humans are believed to experience each day is 70,000. Wow! That's a lot. Ang dami nun. My topic for tonight is entitled, The Power of Staying Positive. Pwede mo bang sabihin sa sarili mo, I'm gonna stay positive. In spite of all this happening, in spite of all the circumstances, in spite of all the struggle, I will remain positive. Ibig sabihin po niyan, magiging positibo tayo sa buhay. Gusto ko pong samahan niyo ako sa pagbabasa sa Book of Psalm, chapter 46. Ang ganda po ng sinulat dito. 
And if you are there, you can also get your physical Bible. If you have your physical Bible, you can open your Bible with me. Sabay-sabay po natin basahin ang salita ng Panginoon. Sabi dito sa Psalms 46, if you are with me, we're gonna read from verse 1 hanggang verse 11. It says here, God is our refuge and strength, an ever-present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear, though the earth give way, and the mountains fall into the heart of the sea, though its waters roar and foam, and the mountains quake with their surging. There is a river whose, whose streams make glad the city of God, the holy place where the Most High dwells. God is within her. She will not fall. God will help her at the break of day. Nations are in uproar. Kingdoms fall. He lifts his voice. The earth melts. The Lord Almighty is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress. Come and see what the Lord has done. The desolation is brought on the earth. He makes war cease to the ends of the earth. He breaks the bow and the shatters and shatters the spear. He burns the shields with fire. He says, Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord Almighty is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress. Blessed be the reading of his word. Alam mo, nakakatuwang isipin, no, na tayong mga Filipino sa panahon po ng pandemya, ibang-iba po ang ating reaksyon. Sa totoo lang, ang daming naging instant entrepreneur. Every time you open the Facebook, ang dami mo makikita ang mga naging online seller. Ang dami din naging reseller. Alam ko po, marami sa atin nagbenta. Ako, isa ako sa mga nagbenta online. Halos lahat yata ng Pinoy ngayon, when you open FB, makikita mo yung sari-saring mga items na pwedeng, pwede mong i-mine. Pwedeng pamine sa lahat ng mga bibili. At yung mga hindi naman bibili, huwag na mag-join. Yung iba naman dito, mga naging instant YouTuber. Blogger, TikTokers, alam natin yan. Alam natin yung mga sinusundan natin, mga nag-tiktok. Nakakabili ba mga Pinoy, no? Dahil, dahil kahit hindi madali yung pinagdadaanan niya, kaya niyang, kaya niyang tulungan yung sarili niya na makabawi at makabangon. Lalo na sa panahon na katulad nito, mas lalong nakakabili biyang kasama mo sa bahay. Alam mo kung bakit? Kasi hindi lang basta madiskarte yan. Alam niya kung paano ipagkatiwala sa Diyos ang kanyang buhay. How do we remain positive in the midst of a pandemic? When everybody else is crushing down, when everything else is crumbling down, kung lahat ng mga bagay na nakasanayan natin before, parang lahat ng yun wala na. Dati mahilig kayong kumain sa labas. But do you know even up to now, there are only few restaurants now are being open to dining rest to dine in. Uh, most of the restaurants are still in take out. Ganun pa lang yung sistema nila. Bawal pa rin kumain sa loob. How do we how do we stay positive in the midst of pandemic? Ang ganda nung binasa nating chapter kanina ng Sam. Sabi doon, God is our refuge and strength, an ever-present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear. Though the mountains, sabi dito, Though the earth give way and the mountains fall into the heart of the sea. How do we remain positive in the midst of pandemic? First point, keep calm and take refuge in God. Maging mahinahon po tayo. Let's all keep calm and take refuge in God. Sabi nga ng verse 1, God is our refuge and strength. An ever-present help in trouble. Alam mo, ibig sabihin ng refuge sa Tagalog, kanlungan. Matatag, matibay na kanlungan ang ating Panginoon. Hindi to kayang gibain ng COVID-19. Maybe you might be thinking, no, how can we really survive this kind of pandemic? Let me tell you this. We can survive this. And we can survive this victoriously because God primarily is our refuge and our strength and our ever help in times of trouble. Sabi nga ng Psalms 91, His faithfulness will be your shield and your rampart. When you come to God, hindi ka niya pababayaan. Actually, you are in the safest, 
place on earth kapag kasama mo ang Panginoon. The safest place that we can ever run is God's presence. Do you know that God's word, even up to this time, is still the trending truth in our times? Sa panahon natin. Although ang tagal ng sinulat nitong Psalms 46, matagal na nung panahon pa ni David. But even in, in our times right now, bakit napaka-relevant pa rin niya? Because it's still refreshing, it's still assuring, and still stronger, no? Ang, la ang tatag, ang lakas ng, ng salita ng Panginoon na pwede natin panghawakan. Yung sinasabi niya pa lang na, keep calm, okay? I am controlling everything. Everything is under control. Lahat ng yan, kontrolado ko. So just keep calm and take refuge in God. Wala ka ng ibang pagtitiwalaan pa kundi ang Panginoon lamang. Sa pagatam sa Panginoon, hindi hindi niya tayo pababayaan. You know, when we take refuge in God, we also strengthen ourselves in God. Only in God. Magpalakas ka sa Panginoon. Hindi sa clan na meron ka sa Mobile Legend. Mas magpalakas ka pa sa pananampalataya mo sa Panginoon. You know, during the during the lockdown, I think month of May, I got a call from from a friend, no? from a host ng 702 DZAS, si Kuya Lemuel Rainier, ng Entre, Entrepenoy. So, sabi niya sa akin, Viv, can I feature you on one of my one of my program sa Entrepenoy? And I just want you to share how you are coping up, how are you surviving, what can you say to them, how can you advise those small entrepreneur. And sa isip-isip ko, Kuya, ano po kaya yung mga, ano yung mga talking points natin for discussion? Ano yung pwede natin pag-usapan over the phone? Kasi nga, on air yun eh. So, wala nang, sa, wala nang rehearsal yun, salang agad. So, binigay niya sa akin yung mga talking points. And I was, I realized, no, na parang, at that moment, hindi ko kayang magsalita. Sa totoo lang, iniisip ko, wala akong pwedeng i-share. Anong i-share ko ngayon sa panahon ng pandemic? Ako nga mismo, dumating ako sa point na iniisip ko, how can I survive my own company? Paano ko, paano ko masusustain yung mga tao ko? How many months can I, can I give them their salary? Gano'ng katagal? At kung tatagal pa tong pandemic, yung lockdown, Paano na? Baka magsarado na ako. So, things are actually running on my mind. And there were nights, aaminin ko, there were nights that I was actually, I was actually bothered with the thoughts na what's going to happen? Ano nga ba yung nagaantay sa atin? You know, when you are being attacked by fear, look at this, when you are being attacked by fear, ang unang inaatake nito yung pananampalataya mo. Yung confidence mo sa Lord na kung kaya ka ba niyang tulungan. But definitely we know God's answer. Definitely we know what the Word of God is saying to us. Kaya mo. You can do all things. Why? Because Christ is in you. And you are more than victorious. You are more than conqueror. You know, there are four kinds of fear. Merong apat na klase ng takot. Number one, fear of loss. Iniisip natin anong pwedeng mawala sa atin. Number two, fear of the unknown. Hindi mo alam kung anong naghihintay sa iyo. What what really awaits in you. And number three, fear of failure. What if you fail? What if after, after many years na nagnenegosyo ako, after many years pagkatapos ng itong pandemic, magsasarado na ako. Or fear of rejection. Yung tipong ma-reject ka. But do you know when the enemy is trying to make you afraid, mas lalo ka nang tatakutin at tatakutin ka niya up to the point na hindi ka na nakakapag-isip ng tama. But God is reminding us tonight, how do we remain positive? First point, keep calm and take God your refuge. Take God your refuge. You know, when we run to God, every time we have need, patutunayan ng Panginoon na kaya niyang gawin ng lahat, even the most impossible things. During those times, wala akong maisagot kay Kuya Lem. Sabi ko, Kuya Lem, maybe not this time, because I am not yet ready, and I don't think I have a message to say. But little did I know, no, when I'm reminded by God's word, Biv, hindi nga kita pinabayaan eh. How many years that you were, you were really blessed, and how many years that you really experienced the blessings? Not now. 
Not in pandemic that I will allow you to be hungry. Not in pandemic na pababayaan kita at ang pamilya mo at ang mga tao mo. And those words keep on resounding on my mind and on my ears. Knowing that God is always with me. And He is my strong refuge. He is my strong tower. And every time I run to Him, He makes me safe. Amen po ba mga kapatid? Sabi nga nun ng verse 2 and verse 3. Therefore, we will not fear, though the earth give way, and the mountains fall into the heart of the sea, though its water roar and foam, and the mountains quake with their surging. We will never be afraid. Thanks be to God. He is our refuge, our strength, and our ever-present help in times of trouble. Ibig sabihin po ng ever-present help in times of trouble, right now, in the midst that you need God's help, He will be there. Right now, in the midst that you call on His name, He will be there. Right now, wherever you are, if you call on the name of Jesus, he will come with you and He will come near you and He will save you. Ganon katindi ang pagmamahal sa atin ng Panginoon. Ganon katibay kapag tayo nagtiwala sa Panginoon. Amen? Second point. Second point is keep calm because God is with us. Alam nyo, dalawang beses inulit to. Sabi ganun sa verse 7 and verse 11, The Lord Almighty is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress. Which means, He is with us. Ang sabi nga ng Bible sa, sa book of Matthew, He is Emmanuel, the God with us. He goes before us. Every time we get close to God, the more that you get close to God, the more that you will see His miracle working in your lives. Makikita mo yung pagkilos ng Panginoon. It's no longer you moving in your life, but you will see the hand of God moving in your life mightily and powerfully. Let me tell you this. When we walk closely to God, God will give us advantage. Look at this. When we walk closely to God, He will give us an advantage in this kind of life, in this kind of pandemic. Sa totoo lang po, I want to thank the Lord for the many blessings that during the lockdown na talagang nag talaga ako, nag ako. But little did I know that God has so much in store for me. Ang dami palang blessings ng Panginoon na ibibigay sa akin. And praise God that for the for the time that we were locked down, hindi ako makakolekta sa mga kliyente ko. Do you know that God can even open up your 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 account? And God can even allow those, those people, yung mga kliyente mo, to deposit payments via your account. And I praise the Lord. Sabi ko nga, ay bakit pa ako mag-aalala? Kailangan ko lang kumalma, kailangan ko lang isipin, kailangan ko lang mag at mas magtiwala sa Panginoon. That even in the most difficult time, hindi ako pababayaan ng Panginoon. How much more? Tayong lahat. Hindi tayo pababayaan ng Panginoon. God values us so much. God is with us. So keep calm. Because He's with us. Sabi nga ng Hebrews chapter 13 verse 5, Never will I leave you. Never will I forsake you. Hindi kita pababayaan at hindi rin kita iiwanan. Sa tingin nyo ba sa panahon ng paghihirap, sa tingin nyo ba sa panahon ng pandemya, bibitawan tayo ng Panginoon? No! The more that we can see God's power, the more that we can see His goodness, the more that we can see His provisions, the more that we can see His love, the more that we can see His healing, the more that we can see His this breakthrough, sabi ko nga, it's not about bankruptcy, but breakthrough upon breakthrough. Why? Because God is with us. The moment that God said to, to Jacob, the Lord Almighty is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress. Siya yung ating matibay na moog. So hindi tayo pababayaan ng Panginoon. When you recognize God in your life, the moment you open your eyes, he is with you. He will guide you. And He will be with you. He will give you wisdom. Nagpapanik ka ba dahil hindi mo alam lahat ng mga pwede mong gawin o mangyari sa buhay mo? Then leave it to the hands of God. Ipagkatiwala mo lang sa Panginoon. Hindi mo naman kailangan gawin eh. 
minsan ang kailangan lang nating gawin is to fully surrender everything to God. Lord, I want to commit all my worries. I want to give you, Lord God, all my fears. Lord, all my anxiety. Lahat Panginoon ng mga anxious thoughts. Lahat Panginoon ng mga gumugulo sa isipan ko. Mga uncontrollable thoughts of God. Lord, lahat ng to inaalay ko sa iyo. And when you do that, God is going to give you a peace of mind. Yung kapayapaan na pwede natin maranasan. Amen? Third point. Third point is, keep calm and know that He is God. Sabi niya ganon, He says, be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. Even in the midst of this pandemic, God is still God. And nothing can ever change that. He is still seated on His throne. And He is in full control. He knows what is happening. And nothing is hidden from Him. He will be exalted among the nations. He will be exalted on the earth. And all we have to do is to be still. Manatili ka lang. Hayaan mo na maging kalmado ang puso mo. Maging payapa ang puso mo. Dahil the moment na naging payapa ang puso mo, the moment na ipinagkatiwala mo lahat, God will allow you to see that He is God. That He can do more than what we can imagine. We can, He can do more than what we can really realize what He can do Pangin, sa buhay natin. Yung kaya niyang gawin, yung napakatinding plano ng Panginoon sa buhay niya. No one can ever thwart or can ever delay the plan of God in your life. And so we let God be God. We let God be God. We let God to take full control in our mind in all areas of our life, sa bawat area ng buhay natin, maybe you are afraid of what's going to happen. Let me tell you this. God is doing something great. Do you know that I realized that even in this time of pandemic, the church is forcefully advancing. Last time, after our live streaming, I think ang viewership natin is more than 3K. And still counting. As long as people will click and people will go down, will go and browse and mapupunta dun sa page natin, they will see and hear the message of God. Just imagine, no, na merong magandang positive na nangyari ngayong pandemic. That we can see the church moving. Na kahit hindi tayo nakikita-kita, we still have Zoom meeting, we can still meet up, and we can still encourage. In closing, in closing, sabi nga ng Pilipians, Chapter 4, verse 8 to 9. Let me encourage you with this. Finally, brothers and sisters, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things. Whatever you have learned or received or heard from me or seen in me, Put it into practice, and the God of peace will be with you. You know, as secreto lang naman talaga, how do we remain positive? Most especially in this time of pandemic, is we keep calm and take refuge in God. We keep calm and because we know God is with us. We keep calm because we know He is God. We are still and we know that God is in full control. Sabi nga ni Frank Jackson, one of his quote, Sabi niya, watch your thoughts, they become words. Watch your words, they become actions. Watch your actions, they become habits. Watch your habits, they become character. Watch your character, it becomes your destiny. So whatever you feed in your mind, kung ano man yung pinapasok mo sa isip mo, it will come into your heart and it will make you. Ganun, magiging ganun ka. So if you will keep feeding your mind with, with truth, with noble things, with something that is pure, with something that is lovely, something that is admirable, something that is excellent and praiseworthy. Ang sabi ni Paul, think about such things. Dwell on these things. Let me remind you of who you are. 
Let me remind you every time na binabother ka ng isip mo. Let me remind you every time na inaatake ka ng depression or natatakot ka, pinupuno ng, ng, ng kaaway yung isip mo ng takot. Let me remind you who you are. You are valuable. You are destined. You are purpose. You have purpose in your life. You are grace. And you are redeemed by God. You are accepted. You are called. You are blessed. And you are loved. You are called to inspire. So you have to believe. You have to accept. And you have to live with it. If you are this person tonight, maaring punong-puno ka ng takot. Maaring punong-puno ka ng pag-aalala. And sometimes, masyado ka nang dinadala ng iniisip mo. Hindi ka na nakakapag-isip ng maayos. If you are this person tonight, I just want you to fully surrender to God what's on your mind. And say to God, Lord, I want to remain positive. That even in the midst of pandemic, Lord, I know that I will I am going to flourish and I'm gonna I'm gonna be prosperous because I am your child. Panginoon, anak mo ko and you have a promise for me and I will claim that promise. If you are this person, I want to speak life over you tonight. I want to pray for you. All you I want you to do is just raise up your hand wherever you are and surrender to God your thoughts. Lahat ng mga tumatakbo sa isipan mo, most especially lahat ng hindi magagandang naiisip mo, lahat ng mga nakakatakot, lahat ng mga pinag-aalala mo, lahat ng pinag pinagbabalisa mo. Why don't you surrender that to God? And I'm going to pray for you. Amen. I want you to raise your hands and we're going to pray for to Jesus. Hallelujah. Lord, tonight we fully surrender, God, all our worries, all our anxious thoughts, Lord. Lahat, Panginoon, ng mga nagpapagulo, nagpapabagal, Panginoon, mga kaisipan, Lord, na hindi naman dapat namin iisip. Lord, patawad kasi pinapangunahan ka namin. Patawad, Panginoon, minsan nawawala yung confidence namin, Lord, sa inyo. But God, tonight, we fully surrender to you, Lord God, all our worries, all our anxiety, Panginoon, lahat, Panginoon, ng bumabagabag sa amin, lahat, Panginoon, ng mga bagay na nag-aalala po kami, lahat ng takot, Panginoon, lahat po, Panginoon, ng mga negative thoughts, oh God. Lord, we fully surrender and we cancel, oh God, all these kinds of thoughts. And we just declare, Lord, that we are calm, oh God, because we take refuge in you. Lord, we are calm, oh God, because we, you are with us. You will never leave us. You will never forsake us. God, we know and we are still because you are God and you are seated on your throne. Lord, the line ko po that your children tonight will all experience, Lord, the kind of peace that you have promised. You have said in your word, do not be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer and petition, present your request to God and the peace of God which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Father, we claim this promise, O God, that we will all experience, Lord, your peace of mind, the peace of mind that we will have the mind of Christ. And we fully surrender to you, Lord God, all unworthy thoughts. Lahat, Panginoon, ng mga, mga kaisipan, Panginoon, na hindi po maganda, Lord. Lahat po ng ito, Panginoon, isinusuko po namin sa inyo. Dalangin po namin, Lord, ma-experience po namin ang kapayapaan na nagmumula sa inyo. Salamat po. In Jesus' name, Amen and Amen. And tonight, bago po ako mag-close, I'd like to talk to our VIPs. Yung mga first time na ngayon lang nakajoin. You know, God wants to connect with you. Maybe it's not an accident why you are invited or why you, why you click this link. Why you go on? Why you go on Facebook? Nakita mong naka live streaming kami. This it's not an accident. Alam mo, merong tatlong hakbang na pwede kang lumapit sa Panginoon. Napaka napakadali lang lumapit sa Panginoon. Hindi mahirap ka usapin ng Panginoon. Sa totoo lang nag-aantay siya sa atin na lumapit tayo sa kanya. Tatlong hakbang lang ang pwede nating gawin. Letter A, let's all admit that we sin against God. Totoo. Marami tayong kasalanan na nagawa laban sa Panginoon. All we have to do is to confess. Sabi nga nun, For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. Sa totoo lang po, lahat ng problema sa mundo, it all, it all boils down to one thing, kasalanan. Dahil nagkasala tayo sa Panginoon. Letter B, sabi don, Believe that God loves you 
and Jesus died for you. Ang Panginoon po, ibinigay niya ang kanyang bugtong na anak upang tayo po ay tubusin sa ating kasalanan. Sabi ng John 3.16, For God so loved the world that He gave His one and only Son, that whosoever believes in Him shall not perish but have an everlasting life. Let her see, let her see which is the last step. Sabi doon, confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and declare with your mouth that He is God. Sabi ng Romans 10 verse 9, if you declare with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe that God that God lives again, that He, he rose again from, from grave, no? you will have you will have that kind of life. So if you are this person, you want to connect with Jesus and you want to tell Him na Lord, Gusto ko ko po kayo, Panginoong, makilala. Gusto ko po, Panginoon, magkaroon ng kaugnayan sa, pu sa puso ko, Panginoon, yung buhay ko, Panginoon, mas maging maayos. Ililid kita sa isang maiksing panalangin. At kung itong panalangin ang puso mo, hayaan mong pumikit ka lang. Ipikit mo ang iyong mga mata at mananalangin tayo sa Panginoon. Hallelujah. Lord, patuloy po kami nagpapasalamat sa gabi nito dahil mas naging malinaw, Panginoon, ang pagmamahal mo sa amin. Salamat Panginoon sa panahon ng kaguluhan, pwede po kami lumapit sa inyo at kaya niyo po Panginoong bigyan kami ng kapayapaan. Panginoon, humihingi po ako ng tawad sa lahat ng kasalanan na nagawa ko po Panginoon laban sa inyo. At sa mga oras na to Panginoon, dalangin ko po na pumasok po kayo Panginoon sa aking puso bilang aking Panginoon at sariling tagapaglagtas. Panginoon, maghari po kayo Panginoon. Maranasan ko po, Panginoon, magandang plano niyo, Lord, sa buhay ko. Tinatanggap kita, Panginoon, bilang aking Panginoon at sariling tagapaglektas. Marami pong salamat, Lord, sa gabing ito. Sa pangalan ni Jesus, Amen and Amen. Gusto kong ma-realize mo rin, it's a brand new beginning for you. Wherein, kung tinanggap mo ang Panginoon sa puso mo, God came into your heart. Pumasok ang Panginoon sa puso mo. God comes into your heart. And He now lives in your heart. Kapag natatakot ka, pwede kang manalangin. Kapag kinakabahan ka, nag-worry ka, pwede kang manalangin. Kasi bakit? Jesus is one call away. We can come to Him anytime, anywhere. Because He is with us. And I hope po, sa bawat isa sa atin na karinig ng message ngayong gabi, I hope that you learned something tonight. And before I close, let me just all... Uh, Pray for all of us. Hallelujah. Short prayer. Lord, thank you po sa gabi nito. Salamat, Lord, sa mga bagay na pwede po namin isipin, Panginoon. Things that are true, Lord. Things that are noble. Things that are beautiful, lovely, admirable, and praiseworthy. The line ko po, Panginoon, that our minds will dwell on this kind of thoughts, O God. And we will always think, O God, excellently before you. Panginoon, salamat po for this time. In Jesus' name. Amen and amen. And always remember that this is your church, your home. Come and join us because we are all for you. We are all for Christ. God bless you. Bye.